guys, Holly here with Painted Dreams Art Studio, and I teach beginning artists how to paint with acrylics and find their inner artist. And we are here today to finish up these, um, this farmhouse pumpkin, farmhouse pumpkins, okay? Um, we already, there's another tutorial that I already did that has the background and the base for the pumpkins. And we're going to come in here and we're going to add some, um, we're going to finish up the pumpkins and add some greenery. So um, when you're getting here, just holler at me and um, let me know you're here. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I also am going to be talking about my brand new membership um, and answering any questions that you guys have. Um, the doors close tonight at midnight. So um, you have until midnight to get signed up. And if you have any questions about that, you can um, put them in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. Um, so let's get started painting. I'm going to uh, make my face a little smaller. Hey, okay. So we're going to paint here these um, lovely little pumpkins. All right. So I already um, added some white to the bottom two. I'm going to add some white and show you what I did up here to these top ones. Let me get my right brush here. I'm going to use, I'm just going to use this filbert. Let's use a number 12 filbert brush. All right. So I've got on my palette, I've got some cream or buttermilk and then I've got white just solid white titanium white and um, we're going to finish up this pumpkin the way we finished up these two so I'm going to kind of mix them together a little bit and get a lot of white on there because I want um, these to be a little more white than what they are now and we're going to just start painting and finishing these pumpkins up. I've already done these two um, just to see how we're going to do them. And this is the same technique I used. I've got this filbert brush and I am just um, pulling some white into the pumpkins we already did because they were kind of blue. I like that look and I like it peeking through, but I feel like it needed a little more white to be more farmhouse. All right. So we're going to finish these up. In here. And we're going to add some greenery to the pumpkins. That is my plan and I am sticking to it. Y'all let me know if you're here um, hanging out with me on this Saturday afternoon. It's a pretty day outside. It's hot. So I'm in my studio painting. <laughs> I wanted to hop on here. So if y'all have any questions, um, you can ask them and I can answer them right here for you about my brand new membership. So, and these pumpkins, huh? Let's get some pretty prettiness on this canvas. All right. It already looks prettier. I still have a little of the blue peeking through, y'all. I'm using a number um, 12 filbert, and I'm just kind of going. You could use a flat brush, too. You don't have to have a filbert to do this. I just grabbed it because it was right there in my water which I shouldn't do. I do leave it in my water a lot. All right. Those little humpy things in the back. All right, this looks cute. We're painting this. Um, I think this is the one we're gonna do. I've got, um, a bunch of nursing friends 
from my old unit. We're going to all get together and paint in a couple of weeks. And we're going to do this one. It'll be fun. They, uh, we've been trying to get together for a while now. It is so hard to get a bunch of nurses together because some people work on the weekends and so, that some people work, you know, during the week and the weekends are hard. We can't ever figure out when we're all off together. So hopefully we'll be able to get it done. Hey, if you're hopping on, y'all let me know you're here, okay? I'd love to um, be able to see who is here. Hey, Missy. Hey, I get it. Okay, that's fine. You can think about it. I would love to have you. Um, I understand I'm in two or three memberships myself. <laughs> It's like members, where if you really think about how many memberships you're in, it's crazy. I mean, I started writing them down one day. Netflix, I mean, everybody is membership now. <laughs> it's crazy. So, yes, I'm in a couple of paint memberships myself, and I enjoy doing it. I enjoy the community of it, and um, it's fun. This is brand new, and it's $20 a month. Um, if you're, um, just thinking about it, I'm going to just say this. And I get it if you don't. It's fine. It's, I'm not, I promise you, you can still do all my free tutorials right here. Um, but because it's a founding member launch, I am just getting everything started. And I don't have a whole lot of tutorials in there right now. We're going to be adding two a month every month. And as it grows, um, you know, of course, the price will get more so it's it's um at that price because it's brand new so i would love to have you but i get it so come have you painted these pumpkins yet have you started them if anybody's here and has already I, i've already gotten a couple of texts from my folks that have already done these pumpkins some did them white and some did them orange and they all look pretty. All right. So I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I might add a little bit of umber here to this top one. One bonus about my membership is if you do do paint parties, like if you are actually teaching live in-person paint parties you can use my paintings and my tutorials to paint um to to teach your people i'm okay with that so that's just a little bonus all right i'm just adding white to these pumpkins and then we're going to put some greenery and I'm just using a filbert brush and I'm making them kind of streaky. I don't want them all one color. I'm using buttermilk and titanium white. I'm just adding some streaks of white in here. And then we're going to go in here and paint some pretty greenery in between them, I do believe. I haven't tried it out, but we're going to do it together. You're going to see my process here. Sometimes it's a process and sometimes it's trial and error. <laughs> but most of the time it turns out pretty. These are going to be pretty. If you're hopping on, y'all holler at me. Tell me you're here. And if I don't already know where you're from, I love to know where you're from. That's fun to me. All right. Let's add some greenery. Who's ready? All right. I'm going to stick with the same brush. I've got this Hauser medium green. 
I've got some pistachio mint. And I think, let's see what color, a thicket. I got this, this one's a little bit, this is folk art thicket. Most of my, um, most of the paints I use are deco art Americana. And um, that's the one folk art. I think the folk art comes from Walmart. I'm not so sure. I got it a long time ago. Okay, so I'm going to start with this medium green color. And let's just see where we want this. I'm going to um, start with this middle one. And then this um, top one will be second. And then I'll decide if I want something at the bottom. I thought about putting a little orange pumpkin at the bottom. Who thinks that would look good? I want to note. Okay. So I'm just going to add some um, leaves here. I'm backing up because I'm painting on to the side here. All right. So I think that I'm going to... So I'm using a number 12 filbert, and I'm just going to add, I'm going to add a leaf right here. And fill it in. I'm just doing a smiley and a frowny, and I'm filling it in. I'm going to add just a little bit of the dark to the edge of it. I'm starting out with this medium green. And then I'm just kind of dash a couple of little pieces coming out like that. I'm just dashing with this filbert brush. Do one a little smaller one right here. And you know, painting is a process, so you have to um go through these steps sometimes it doesn't look real pretty at first but we're going through the steps and it gets prettier and prettier each time i'm using this medium green and i'm just adding i think i'm going to come down here and add another little leaf coming out of that one and maybe one like this to the side and maybe I'm just dashing on the side of this brush. And I'm kind of composing it as I go. I'm getting brave over here. If you're getting here, y'all sprinkle this video around. I would love to have some more folks join us. So let your friends know to come paint with us. I'm using a medium hauser green and I'm just adding some greenery here and there in between these pretty pumpkins. I think I'm going to add some going in the up upwards here. I'm just dashing a few little leaves here and there. If you were in my floral frenzy class, you got really good at making leaves, right? <laughs> we made lots of leaves in that class. You are like a leaf expert now. If you're just getting here, y'all holler at me and let me know you're here. I would love to say hey to ya. Even if you're watching the replay, y'all holler at me. Holla, give a girl a holla. All right, I think I'm gonna take a couple of these here and kind of down, down stroke like this. We're just adding some leaves here to this pumpkin. All right. So 
So if you've been hanging out with me this week and painting with me this week, I just want to remind y'all tonight is at midnight is the last night to get signed up to my brand new membership. I would love to have you guys come join me. I'm not forcing anything on anybody. I just think it will be so much fun. I know it will be. We got good things planned, exciting things planned for the next um, next month. We're going to have um, contests and little bonuses and just fun stuff happening. I'm just adding some pistachio mint to these leaves. So I'm here because I want I want you guys to ask questions if you want to ask questions and be able to answer them here in person. What y'all think about these um, leaves? Let me know if you're just getting here. All right, I'm going to take some kind of this way. I'm just doing a smiling and a frowny and adding a few of these down this way towards the bottom of the pumpkin. And I'm gonna go mix up with some here. Add a little dark there. I don't want all my leaves the same color. I want some of them a little bit different. This is a farmhouse pumpkins. I told them before I um, have not tried these out, so hopefully they turn out cute. I like them so far. We're going to be painting these with my nursing friends in a couple of weeks in person. It'll be fun. Okay, I like that. All right, I'm going to let those dry a little bit. And we're going to move up to this, this area right here. And I'm going to get a smaller brush so I can put a little line here. Somewhere. Oh my gosh, all my brushes are dirty. I need to clean them today. Okay, I'm just going to get a little angle brush and um, drag a vine here. I think I want a vine coming out of this one. I'm going to let it stick up. And then I'm going to make it come down to like that. I'm just drawing some lines with my angle brush where I might want my vines. Okay. And we're going to go back and make some leads on them. And I'm just using a darker green to make my vines. And I'm going to get a little bitty filbert. It's a rounded tip brush. And we're going to add some leaves. I'm mixing a little of the darker green and the slider color green. And we're going to add a few little leaves to these vines. So I want them small. So I'm just going to barely touch on the side of the filbert to the canvas. Just barely touch it and pull. Touch and pull, touch and pull. 
so easy to do it is I'm going to get a little bit closer so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm tapping it to the canvas and I'm pulling it towards the vine. Tap and pull, tap and pull, tap and pull, just like that. You get some more paint on my brush. Make sure you have enough paint because uh, your brushes do a lot of work, but they won't do a dang thing if you don't have any paint on them. All right, so we're going to do this. Tap and pull. I'm trying to get a better angle where y'all can see me. Tap and pull. Just like that. So we're going to do that all the way around. On all these little vines we just made. And we're starting with the darker green and we may add some light to it. We actually, I kind of mixed a little bit of the light already. If you're just getting here, y'all let me know you're here. I'd love to know who's hanging out with me today. I'm just tapping and pulling some of this kind of darker green. We're going to lighten it up after it dries a little bit. I already drew my vines in. Ooh, I think they're cute. I'm just tapping and pulling down. Or towards the vine. Hey, t hey, Tammy. How's it going? I'm glad you made it. Have you painted these pumpkins yet? Are you working on your floral frenzy today? I told them, I said, if you were on my floral frenzy class, um, you are an expert at leaves. <laughs> All right, I think that we need to go back and add some of these kind of vines to this bottom one, too. I really like them. I'm going to get my angle brush. If y'all are just getting here, y'all sprinkle it around. Let your friends know you're here painting with me. All right, I'm gonna add some more, some vines over here on this one. I like the way they look. I think I'm gonna add, have them going kind of up and down. I'll add one right here. I'm just dipping in the darker green so we can add, I probably should wait till it dries a little bit, but hey. We're living on the edge. How I drive too. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Y'all make sure if you're painting these pumpkins, I'd love to see them, okay? Y'all make sure to text them to me. Because I want to see what y'all are doing. Okay, let's put some leaves on these and see how they look. We're going to let these dry a little bit. That's why I'm working down here. All right. I'm just doing little bitty strokes, tapping and pulling towards the vine with my very small number six filbert brush is what I'm using. And I'm tapping and pulling towards the vine. We're just going to go right over those leaves right there. We're going to make the um, vines in the front on this one. Maybe in the back of that one. And you can start at the bottom or the top. I always start at the, at the top of the vine and work my way down so I can push a little bit harder and make the these bigger. The harder you push, the bigger the leaf. 
So I'm barely touching right here. Tap, 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 tap. Y'all see what I'm doing? Just tapping leaves. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, these pumpkins would be good to take to a craft show. I think these, these would sell with all the people that love farmhouse stuff. So if any of y'all do craft shows, this will be a good one to take. We have um, on Friday night, the first Friday of every month, we have um, Art Walk downtown. I live in Wetumpka. If nobody knows, HGTV just did a special on our little town. Um, but we started an art walk after um, we were on our, what's the name? Oh, I can't think of the name of it. If anybody on here knows the name of that show, I can't remember. I can't think of it right this very second. It's not in my brain. Anyway, it's on HGTV. And um, they came and redid our town. Or downtown. They did about eight places or so. And it was super fun to watch them do it. I'm just adding a few of the dark leaves in here at the bottom. Uh oh, I've dipped in my medium, but that's okay. Get the dark back on here. I'm adding some going up and down. Ooh, it looks pretty. Okay. If you're just joining us, holler at me and tell me you're here. But anyway, we have Art Walk. I don't even know if I finished that story. I just got so distracted. We have Art Walk the first Friday of every month. And I'm thinking about doing a little booth out there. I think it would be fun. Okay, I'm going to do some of the medium Hauser green. And I'm going to make some leaves here, some bigger size leaves. Coming out from the bottom, I'm just doing a smiley and a frowny and filling in the middle. I'm still using that same brush. And I'm just coming right over these other leaves. I'm going to add a little of that pistachio mint to that light medium green. Let's put a couple right here. We're just making our own design. Hometown, yes. Um, let's see, I saw that show, it's called Hometown, or that's who's, who started the first part of the show, yes. It um it was real it's really it was kind of cool to watch them redo everything. And some of my neighbors were actually in it. <laughs> and they didn't even tell us they were gonna be in it. Everything was a big secret until it actually aired. I was like, you are a sneaky little thing, ain't ya? Sneaky sneaky. We didn't even know they were going to be famous. Ah! I'm just kind of figuring out where I want this stuff. And I already like it. Let's go up like this. Sometimes I overdo things. I love leaves. 
All right, I'm going to add a little bit of the lighter color in these. So I'm trying to keep this farmhouse and not adding a whole lot of color. Um, but I am going to put some berries in here. Just disperse a little bit through there. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use a light orange color, like a kind of a peach orange. Because I want it to stay muted, like, you know, farmhouse, those farmhouse colors, like Joanna Gaines uses, they don't have a whole lot of color, you know. Do y'all like it so far? I think I like it. When I get done, I'm going to add some twirly vines coming out with just some, like, um, raw umber. How about let's try this Georgia clay. That looks like a pretty um, color that I can add a little white to it and um, and um, kind of mute it down a little bit. Heritage brick, that's pretty too. All right, I'm gonna start with Georgia clay and we'll see what happens. We're gonna... Um, I haven't, I, ha I did not paint this before I came on. I'm painting it as I go. This is the creative process in action. Huh. If y'all are hanging out with me today, oh, let me know. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of this off-white. Let's see what color this makes. That made it brighter, didn't it? Let's add some umber. That's kind of a pretty, it's a salmon, it's really salmon-y. We're going to have salmon berries on our <laughs> pumpkin. Okay, so I'm just going to, let's see where do I want a berry. I'm going to put a berry right here. We're going to um, put them in threes. Things look pretty in threes in art. Let's put... One right here. I'm still using this filbert brush. It seems to be my fave. It seems to be my favorite. If y'all just get in here, holler at me. So, um, y'all, most of y'all know that I am, my membership is um, open right now. The doors are open right now. Tonight is, till at midnight, I'm closing them up. And we're going to uh, enjoy my brand new members that have already joined. I'd love to have you come and join me and try it out. Um, ooh, I like this. Y'all like that? You can come be a founding member until midnight tonight. Let's put a berry right there. Like they're growing out of that vine. Yep, I like that. So let me tell you what you get if you come join me. Um, and if you have any questions, just holler at me. Y'all can put them in the comments. Oh, yay. Good. I'm glad you like it, Tammy. And I'm not, I, this is brand new for me. Um, my membership is only $20 a month. If you're interested. Um, the reason it is that low of a price is because you're going to be founding members. This is brand new membership. I may have said that already. I'm painting. I'm thinking about this painting here. All right. So 
a founding member is somebody that's going to I'm going to be doing lots of surveys and making sure that you guys are happy and what you want in out of a membership. Um, it's the lowest price it will ever be right now because it's brand new. As it grows, it'll I'll, um, it'll be more. But you can't really get in a membership for that cheap at this point. I mean, lots of there's not a whole lot that only costs twenty bucks a month. But you will be grandfathered in. You'll never pay another dime more because you are my special people that trusted me to join something brand new, and it means a lot to me. This is something I've been planning for a while, and I'm excited about it. I'd love to have you. Ooh, I love it. So what you're going to get is two um, paintings a month. We're going to do two exclusive um, painting tutorials a month. You'll get some um, um, technique videos. And we'll have a private Facebook group with a community um, that we're going to support each other in. Um, you'll be able to post your work and ask questions. I'll be very active there. And then bonuses, that one of the bonus, big bonuses is if you teach paint parties, you can use my paintings in your in-person classes. So that's a big bonus. And maybe you don't teach paint parties yet, but hey, you might want to one day. And you will already have a, a library of paintings to use. So, and then we're gonna have contests and stuff like that, just some fun stuff. Because I want my people to be happy and learn. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. It's a new thing in my life, and I'm excited about it. Okay, what do y'all think? This looks so cute. Okay, so should we put some at the bottom? Let me, I'm, I'm going to put it up. I want y'all's opinion. Should we do, should we do a little pumpkin at the bottom down here? Or should we like a smaller little pumpkin or should we just add some more greenery? I'm thinking maybe a pumpkin. What do y'all want to do? Somebody tell me. I want your opinion. That's the fun thing about having people to paint with is you can um, not have to make all the decisions. Ha! All right, somebody tell me. Or I'm going to have to make the decision. And I want y'all to tell me. Okay, and I'm also going to add some swirly vines. So let's do that while y'all are thinking about it. I'm going to use the raw, the, no, raw umber. Where are you? Raw umber, the deco art raw umber. And we're going to finish our stem and make some swirly vines. All right, so if you're just getting here, I'm waiting on somebody to tell me, should we put a pumpkin down here or should we just add some more of the screenery? Y'all tell me. Or just leave it alone. That's an option too. So I'm going to go up here and just finish out this vine. I'm going to bring it down some. Like it's growing out of the pumpkin, because that's what it's supposed to be doing, right? It's growing out in a twirly like form. Huh. So I'm taking my the umber lines that I already drew in the pumpkin and I'm kind of connecting the vine to them. So it looks like we just picked her. We just picked her out of the garden. You see what I'm doing? You love the orange? Yeah, I do too. Hey, Sunny, how's it going? Yeah, I think this, and it's really, it's a more of a, it's called Georgia clay. That's the color I used. And I mixed just a touch of white and a little bit of that umber in it. 
and that's what color it made. So I'm using a liner brush here and I'm fixing to do some swirls. All right, I'm using a liner brush and some raw umber. Let me connect this one real quick. Does it look like it just got picked? Picked and put on the porch. Okay. Did anybody decide what we need to put down here? All right, swirling some lines. When you're gonna swirl something, commit to the swirl. Don't stop in the middle, just go for it, okay? So we're gonna start at the stem and I'm gonna swirl it around. And I'm gonna come down with one. Oh. I didn't have enough paint on my brush. Let's try to follow that same swirly line. I might need a different brush. I don't love that swirl. If you mess your swirl up, let it dry. Paint the pumpkin over again, that little area. And then re-swirl. Okay, we're going to go up this way. I like it. I'm gonna get a different brush to swirl with. I need a longer liner brush. So this liner brush, y'all see it? It's just a really long liner brush. And yes, I am licking my brush. It's gross, I know. I do it all the time. I can't help it to have it. Okay, I'm getting a good amount of paint and we're gonna swirl this down here. All right, one, two, three, here we go. This brush does really good with swirls. I'm gonna swirl one right here. And swirl one right here. All right, let's swirl some in this middle part. If you're just getting here, holla, holla at me. Y'all tell me you're here. I like to know who's painting with me. I'm just doing some small swirling here. Some of y'all have already painted this and they look really good. Now you can go back and add um, all the details here. I like getting pictures. All right. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put, I might regret it. I think I'm gonna put a pumpkin down here. Nobody told me to, what to do. On the bottom, maybe some grassy blade strokes to look like, yes, like grass. That'd be a good idea. We could do that. 
All right, we can make some some grass. Decisions, decisions. All right, I gotta find the right brush. I need an angle brush over here. All right, we're gonna do. Yeah, hey. All right, we're going to try it. I didn't want to get too far out of the colors that I have going on. Okay. I think that, I think I'm going to just add some more of this. We're going to, we're going to just, we're going to, we're going to just see. I'm going to add a few little grassy strokes, like Miss Sunny said. It just needs something, you know what I mean? I'm using an angle brush and I'm just adding a few little strokes here. This is an interactive painting. <laughs> All right, I'm going to add a little bit of the lighter color. You could still come in here and add a pumpkin if you wanted to. It needs some berries. I do believe it needs some berries. Where did my little brush go? Here it is. Y'all see me just walking around. I should take myself off of the screen. All right, let's put some berries down here. We use that same color. I'm not doing as many. I'm just using a small filbert brush to make these. We'll make this one coming up a little bit. And maybe one over here. Like it's on a vine. All right, I think it needs a few dark leaves and then we'll be done. I do believe, and I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. I'm just putting some little dashes around these berries like they're on a line, on a vine. Cool. I like it. You could put some berries coming out of the top too if you wanted to. But I think sometimes I overwork stuff, so I think we're gonna stop right there before I um overdo it. Okay. 
Everybody love it? Who's painting it? I'm sorry it's sideways. There's no possible way to paint this without it being sideways because it's a long canvas. I think it's 24 by 12. So, okay. So, let me put myself up here. All right. So, here's the deal. We're done with this. Y'all paint it and text me a picture. If you're going to text me, here's my number. All right, let me see. That's my number to text me. Which way do I put it? Right there. Um, Y'all text me a picture. I'd love to see it. Oh, good. I want to see it, Tammy, when you paint it, okay? I'd love to see it when y'all do. Um, thank you. Who's, say, who's telling me that? It just says Facebook user. Who said that? It's gorgeous. I want to know who you are. All right. So um, I'm just letting you guys know that my membership closes at midnight tonight. If y'all have any questions, you can text me or put a message in here or comment right here. I'm going to put a link to join in the chat right now. It's in there. If y'all decide you want to join, you can just go straight to that chat and our, that little comment right there and click on it and you can join my membership. I'll get a notification. And then I, once um, it closes, I'm going to send everybody an email um, about joining the Facebook group and what fun stuff we've got going on, okay? So um, go ahead and um, click the link and join me. I would love to have you in my membership. I'm super excited about it. We're going to have a, a blast. Um, we're going to do, you're going to get me as your personal coach. You'll get two exclusive, um, painting tutorials every single month. You're going to get technique videos. Um, we're going to have a private Facebook group. So lots of bonuses. Come join me. I would love to have you. It's brand new. Um, and we're going to, we're going to get, just go for it, man. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm super excited about it. Anyway, I can't wait to see this white pumpkin um, painting. Y'all text me a picture um, of it when you get it done. Oh, Sunny, come join. The link is right there. I just put it in there. Come join me. I would love to have you. All you just click on it, and um, and that'll be, you can pay for it right there, then in there. And then I will add you to my list and my wall. I can't wait. I got all my little founding members on sticky notes on my wall. <laughs> so come join me. We're going to have fun. All right. So I'm out of here. I will see you guys later. The link is in the comments to come join me. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. We'll paint together. <laughs>